Hi everybody. We're gonna run around today. This is gonna be a vlog style video. Uh, we have a lot of little things going on, a lot of things to do, a lot of things we just wanna tell you about. We did look at storage units today and there weren't any in Lincoln. There were some in uh -huh. Omaha, but there was nothing that looked worth going to Omaha for and we have a lot of other things to do. We're gonna show you something we found while walking the dogs. Yeah. And we're also gonna talk about a message we got from someone named Ed. Ed. Yes. Hi, Ed. Uh, several things to cover, so we're going to jump into it. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, if you're new here, if this is your first time watching us, I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are Happy Heart Treasures. We're resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. We homers of stuff. She likes that better. <laughs> and we just, we're resellers. We're full time. We quit our jobs in 2021. Yep. And this is what we do. And yep. so we do a lot of different things. If, you, if you're here from the storage unit video, we do buy storage units, but not all the time. Like we do a little bit of everything. So. Yes, we do, including sometimes we pick stuff up on the curb. Yes. Look what we yeah. found. We took the dogs. We took the dogs for a walk uh, Monday and Tuesday is trash day and we don't go around looking for trash, but we're just walking the dogs. <laughs> Sometimes we walk by and trash. We have this box sitting by their trash can at the curb and it is full of CDs. Bad and company. Rock see CDs, that. which do sell better. There's AC, there's a lot of ACDC, AC Van Halen, a Creed, lot of ZZ, ZZ Top. Top. Bon Jovi, Roy Orbison. Yeah, and they're all in here. And I don't know who that is. Fog Hat. Fog Hat. That's classic rock there. Classic. All the discs are in there. They're in really good condition. And so we and were a few poison. blocks. We were <laughs> we were a few blocks from home. And so I'm like, look at Don. I'm like Bob Seeger. I'm like, yeah, okay. Three so doors down. I picked it up and I carried it home. Now it's not that big of a box, but, but it was, it was kind of a long walk and it was uphill. <laughs> both ways both ways in the snow uh, so that's so you never know where you're gonna find stuff i mean it's yeah. stuff is everywhere speaking of which we are going to storage our storage we couldn't because we couldn't buy another storage and we're gonna find stuff so come on sometimes you have days like this right steve right Th this is not we left we need to get me a coffee because sometimes Don's cranky and needs coffee so we went and got a coffee and then realized we didn't have the keys to the storage unit so we had to go back home and get the keys because we're borrowing a van from our friends while Luke has our van and the keys are on the key ring of the van. So we went back home to get the spare keys and guess what? We get back to the storage unit because that's where we are right now and the keys we got don't fit the lock. So I guess we're gonna go to a state sale across town check that out and then I don't think we're gonna make a third trip to storage. And hopefully we have some finds from the estate sale that we can show you. So are we going to record at the estate sale? No, we do not. I'm all for recording at garage sales and like if we're out of town, but estate sales in Lincoln, because we work with a couple of the companies that do the estate sales and we do cleanouts for them. I don't want to be recording in the estate sales in case somebody gets a, any kind of weird impression about that. I want to keep it, uh, I don't know, professional, I guess, in case we're doing a clean out, you know, at a place, end up doing one. So, yeah, we won't record at estate sales in town just because of that relationship we have. Cool. Also, um, do you want to tell them about the guy that messaged us, Ed? Hi, Ed. So, remember the last video when we showed you the head face that um, got returned from Grandma? And um, so we're sitting on the thing on the, on the counter and uh, we were going to put it away. We get a message from Ed and it says, I want to buy something from you and Donna to show some support. I subscribe to your YouTube channel already and I'll buy this vase so you don't have to put it away. Ha ha, thanks Ed. Thanks Ed, so we don't have to put it away and for subscribing and for showing us support. This is awesome. Thank you so much. And the head face will be on the way. Is on the way? It's already on the way. It went out yesterday. Oh, it went out yesterday. Um, so yeah, it should be to you in a couple days maybe. If not tomorrow. There you go. Yeah. So the safe sale. We just got one thing. Uh, we'll show it to you here in a little bit. But check this out. You see the, you know the uh, little libraries? Well, check this out. It's a dog box. Free treats. Look, dog box. And look what's inside uh, for when you're walking your puppy dog got all kinds of treats and stuff in here how cool is that is that not the coolest that is very cool 
We got a nice neat water feature up here, but look, look. yeah, we've never seen that before. Look at the side. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Gold Dog Express. Very cool, huh? <laughs> All right, moving on. We're on our way home and I looked on the trusty phone and found another estate sale. So Steve is driving us to that estate sale. Yeah, I just wanted to touch base because I did not want to forget to uh, kind of give an update on that storage unit. So when we were going through that, we found that little box of money. Somebody commented about how I couldn't get in the van fast enough, and that was kind of funny. <laughs> I will. I'm gonna throw my wife under the bus on that one. Yes, I told him. I said, "Quick, run she away. <laughs> got super nervous and was like, "You need to put it. Go put it away. Go put it away." She wanted me to just take the whole tote and put it in the front. Like she thought somebody was gonna come rob us. So yeah, it, you never know when you're I wish, not a, not the best part of town. I wish we would have filmed a few more things better right there, but you yeah. know it was like the excitement of it, and Donna was kind of freaking out, so whatever. <laughs> but so we found that contained that box of old coins and the old bills. There was actually another stash of old bills, and we saw we showed you how much there was in the next video, or maybe at the end of that, the end of that one. Yeah. Anyway. All the old coins, all of that, That's I've sold. sold it all except for maybe a few straggler pieces. But um, when we counted it out, we didn't count the pennies, but I think it was 100 and what was the total we had? 154 or 174 or something like that? 173.73. 173.73. And we sold all of it to different people. We listed on dollar auction, and then some people bought multiples of things, and we sold it all for just a little over $700. So that was awesome and we still have all the awesome stuff i have a metal detector i have to have that camera somewhere we still have that bag yeah. i mean we got a lot of stuff still that we need to get to need, i've been selling the little things and that's a couple hundred dollars yeah, worth so donna has all the total. jewelry on uh dollar auction to end tonight so just wanted to give an update the old money we did really well with that that was a great find so um that's all so now we're off to check out the next estate sale so let's see what we can find oh my goodness you guys <laughs> we that estate sale that was, was awesome that was awesome i can't wait to show you what we found it was a family having an estate sale um actually they bought the house from a friend and it was full of stuff um they had a, he worked for the telephone company so they had old telephones they had, i have a little bit of video i took some video in the room with all the phones so i'll just you? put that in here um if you look you can see there's all types of telephones and there's just and the prices were i mean there was this pink the pink one in the middle was like a hundred dollars so it was up to that that but it was all types of phones and so i wish i knew more about phones i definitely probably missed out on some but very cool but the lady was from germany and she moved here when she was 21 and she brought a lot of things from germany including the german incense burners and so we got several of those for like two bucks and i did pay up for one twenty dollars we'll show that to you so we're gonna go home we're gonna get everything out on the table and show you all our haul because we're really excited about this one yes we're calling inked picker now to let her know okay we're back home now and this is crazy y'all just a couple weeks ago there was so much snow and it was ridiculous and now we're out here in t-shirts and no shoes mom no shoes mom the snow is just about all gone so it's awesome we got the puppies out here the there's one puppy where's the other puppy and there's bella there's bella yes yes daisy hi <laughs> okay like we said you want to see what we, we love found? that estate oh, sale so we're going to go through like kind of like an unboxing or whatever instead of getting it all out first so donna what did we find found a couple hats 25 this was two dollars it's vintage. not been worn 94 huskers hat these were 25 cents so i thought that was cool for the booth and then you guys so the german um what do you call it? Uh, nutcrackers. No. Oh, incense. Incense. So you put the incense here and light it, and then it comes out his mouth. And Donna sold a different type not that long ago for good money. I don't remember what. Yeah. This one was $20. This was the most expensive one. And I think that this is supposed to turn and be a music box. Is it going to go? Here's the on and off thing. 
but it's, it, 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 I don't think it plays the music, but it's an incense burner. So I thought he was cool. We spent a total of $139. Yes. We spent almost three times as much on these three boxes than we did at the <laughs> storage unit. But what this is awesome. I'm not sure what these are. Oh. oh, I didn't even look these up, you guys. But listen to them. They're so pretty. And there's, they were eight dollars for the whole set. Set of I think eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I believe they are silver plate, if not silver. Is that like a bunny? That's a bunny. So I haven't looked at them up at all. This is an angel, a duck, a bunny, um, bunny rabbit. Peter, Peter, oh my goodness, you guys, they're Peter Rabbit. Pretty didn't, cool, huh? I didn't even look. Yes, pretty cool. Steve found this for a uh, dollar. It you was can't a go dollar. It, it has all the little strings. You know, it's obviously just a decoration. decoration but for a dollar, I'm going to put that on the dollar auction. Somebody will think that's cool, I think. I think that's cool. What's in here? He got stuff, and I got stuff, and I don't know what he got. Oh, these two, we were trying to, they were only a quarter piece, and we were trying to round up. We were at 50 cents, so at the very end, I said, well, grab those two, like, hot plate trivet things. They're coasters, so, I think. So, quarter each, they're from Germany. So, the woman, I told you before, is from Germany, so a lot of these things uh, were from Germany. Here is another one of those incense burners. Put the incense there. What'd you pay for that one? Two dollars. Nice. Yeah, we haven't looked a lot of this up, but we, <laughs> we for the prices that we're asking, like we didn't have to. And this one, I believe, was two. Yep, two dollars. There's his. He looks like a He's miner. Got a nice little stash. <laughs> That's funny. And then this was twenty-five cents. It is an old ashtray. Um, yeah, it's Xerox. Uh, I think it was for camera stuff. Yeah, products for photography. It says in the bottom. I don't know. I mean, it's in rough shape, but for a quarter, Ooh, you can give it a shot. Look at this. This, you guys, this is an old toaster, and you put the toast in here, and then you can turn it around and toast the other side. It is an electric one, they did not have a cord, but. We looked it up and it sells on eBay for uh, old decor and it was a dollar. So we picked that up. And I don't know about this, Steve. Oh, uh, it was just a couple of those, uh, what are they called? Conductors? Insulators? Insulators, yeah. They had a bunch of insulators, so I just grabbed a couple unique ones. Oh, there is a chip there. I didn't think it was chipped. They were only a dollar piece, so I just grabbed a couple of them to probably put them <laughs> a dollar auction to give them a shot. All right, here we have a. I, it's not old it's from 1996 uh there's a little trinket tray but otherwise there's trinket tray i think it's just dirty i think it'll clean up good i paid two dollars for this uh might go on ebay might go on dollar auction so okay this might be donna's find of the day we'll see this is a deforest uh pig creamer and sugar set he's a little pitcher and she's a little sugar container oh look at the pitcher look at the mouth on it that's where you pour it out the cream yep that's cute. Look at that. And that cool? when I look it up, there are three listed on eBay. One for 111, one for 225, and one for 165. None sold, but I did find them on um, on Google, sold and other places for between 89 and 225. So I think I'm going to list it for like 100 and Maybe ninety nine ninety nine. You can list it for one hundred twenty, and then somebody will somebody will offer you a ninety nine ninety yeah. nine and get a deal. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do with those. So yeah, she paid ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah. But I just love them. Oh, this was twenty five cents. This is from a dollar auction. Um, I have a gal cobalt. that loves cobalt glass items. Oh, and I picked this up for twenty five. All the cups for twenty five. Ghostbusters mug. Dial busters. A play on Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Probably the some guy, local thing. Well, he worked for the telephone yeah. company. Okay, and I got a set of eight of these for six dollars. 
and they're from Germany and I haven't looked them up yet like sherbet dishes I just thought they were really really cool so I didn't look them up took a chance on those so we'll see okay and I got the croquet sets for $18 I looked it up and it sells I don't know we've never sold a croquet set before but um, we looked it up and it's like 111 to 225 well or those something. are in very good condition this one's not but so but she I felt it was worth it much to my yeah. chagrin yeah he did. I told her if you want it you can get it you list it if you sell it I will ship it if you but sell it that's not my project he will ship yep he will ship it. all right then we got this box here okay like I said she was from Germany these measuring cups are all in German so Pretty this cool. one and she gave them to you for a dollar a piece dollar two piece of those. and then this one to the German cool thought that was cool and then also put these here yeah she had some uh a quarter a piece cent. on like some jewelry items up front so donna picked up several pieces i picked up this watch it's got underneath there it's got like lineman look at your lineman cufflink and tie tack set yeah so those were all just a quarter a piece so grab that stuff oh, what's this oh this is a is little a music, music box, box. I don't know what you call that, but copper, copper music box, church. And I went out and I said, "How much for this?" And she goes, "A dollar." <laughs> I said, "Okay, can't argue that." These were twenty-five cents as well. They are leather coin purses. This was, I think, twenty-five cents, wasn't it? It's a uh, magnet to go on the refrigerator. Yes, there was. Well, there was two of these. They're stuck together, two phone magnets, and I think it was a quarter or fifty cents or something. And then. I just sold a bunch of these old copper looking or whatever, copper plate, whatever they call them. Pencil, uh, sharpeners. pencil sharpeners. And then a couple there, and they were only one and a quarter a piece. So I'll put them on the dollar auction. Um, this is a little, I don't know what this is. <laughs> 25 cent. 25 brass. cent stagecoach. Yeah. And then a 25 little, cent. Little phone oh. clock thing. Uh huh. So it got a. EKO time pieces. So yeah, for a quarter you can't pass this stuff up, guys. Like you know, like we talk about our dollar auctions are whatnot. That's exactly right. So you put these things on dollar auction and do like whatnot. Um, then three different cameras in bags. I didn't look up the pro the what they're worth. I looked up one, and then I saw they're all a dollar with the bag. So I thought, well, cheaper for a dollar. Sure the Polaroid, and then. The Canon Sure Shot that I don't think is worth much. Oh, and there's film. But I paid a dollar, the, the whole bag and everything. The last camera, this is the one I actually looked up. This one is a digital camera. If I can get into it. And it's only 8 megapixels, but it's a Samsung SA60. And this is like 25 bucks if it works. And they only wanted a dollar. So, yeah, I just, once they, once I saw a dollar, I just thought, well, I'll grab all three of them and do something with them. Little German music box. All right, that's Donna found this right when for we, after we checked out the first four, time when she was still looking. Four dollars. <laughs> yeah, four dollars for Don't that. pull it by the top, uh-uh. And then what else you got? I didn't look this up. It does have a few little places where it's broken, but it was two dollars. But look at the detail of this little music box. Love it. So it was two bucks. Okay. These little puzzles, they sold for $17, $18, and I got them each for five. And the little, I guess it goes like this. There's a little car in each one, and they wind up and go around. Looks like this. Cool. So. That's good. The other insulator that I got for a dollar, there's no chips or anything on it. I don't think. Yeah, that's a 42 so i don't know well i don't know i think they might be worth something but we'll give it a shot dymo dymo label maker for a dollar dollar okay cool um okay guys i am not sure if these are gold or not or what but my friend told me that sometimes these old glasses can be gold so I looked them up 
Arbina looked them up. I asked her how much and they were a dollar a piece. So we'll have to look closer, but even if they're not, they each have these little uh, cloths with them. So I just thought those were neat. Cool. So we'll check into that a little bit more. Um, I don't know what this is. This is something you got. Oh, this is a little bank. It's a, it's a wooden bank. Put your coins in there. It even has the stopper in the back. And it looks like a musical box too. And I looked it up and this is like, I think like 30 bucks. And they wanted four. So I picked that up. That's neat. Um, we'll go through these a little bit quicker. I think this is Bakelite. It is a dollar. And this is a metal. And it's a dollar. Little horse. This was 25 cents. 25 cents. 25 cents. Is that a pencil sharpener or just a... Yeah, a pencil sharpener. That's the other... Oh, that's the two magnets. There's... Okay, so we got three magnets total. These are both phone magnets. It was... They make noise. Really? Well, the airplane's going over, but that's cool. So I paid a quarter for the two of them. That's fun. Okay. Another little coin purse for 25 cents. And this is a magnet that goes... I thought it was like a Ghostbuster thing, but it must be that line busters like the other thing, but the stickers on it. But I paid a quarter for it. So, I mean, that's vintage. I'll throw that on dollar auction. This might be something good. I paid $8 for this belt buckle. It's not the... I don't... I don't know if it's real coins or not. Looks like it. But it's well, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. But serial numbered, made in the USA, copyright 1983, I think it says on there. Um, belt buckle. That might be worth something. I paid eight dollars for it. We'll see. A uh, little knife for 25 cents. Another coin purse, 25 cents cool little box um you want to pull it open how does it open just pull the it opens like a yeah there you go what's in there uh what is is that a pencil it's sharpener? a pencil sharpener it's a pencil sharpener that's right a little tray yeah it's a pencil sharpener yeah how crazy yeah that i paid four dollars for i don't know what this is but we have a kid who's a gamer and this looks like not a not Some a video game. gamer but a board game guy and it looks like it says Joker at the top. Uh -huh. Some kind of game. There's cards so in here. Maybe a play on the word poker, but it's There's got little markers, little pieces, and stuff. Yeah. So and instructions and whatever. So it might just be something that they made up. So I thought that was fun. Only a dollar. We'll see. The last thing's the coolest thing. Let's see if I can get it out. So I thought this was just like a box. Oh. It's a wall hanging. You can mount it on the wall. An a old phone. Looks kind of fun, right? I thought, well, it's just probably some kind of box. Hold on a second. Where does this go? Come up here. It's hang. I think it's missing a hanger over here, because on the side it's got a like a clip. Oh. I think it's you, missing a hanger. But anyway, hang, hold it still for just a second, okay? You hang it up like this. Okay. Well, up here, there's. I'm trying to get the stagecoach, and you keep pulling away. Oh. Another one of them stagecoaches. This is happy. So anyway, I'm looking at this and I think, well, that's kind of cool, you know, five bucks. And then I opened it up. Look at this. It's a decanter and shot glasses. <laughs> How cool is that? I don't know what this is. Hide your liqueur. Huh? But yeah, that's that's cool. That's got to be worth something. So, so I grabbed it for five bucks. Huh? <laughs> that's fun. Cool beans. Looks like it might be like a music box or something. <laughs> Or it rings a bell, maybe, yeah. when it opens. So that's what we got. We paid $139 for all this stuff. I mean, the toaster the is stuff. so cool. And then that, that thing in there is my favorite, probably. Each one of these things, though, is so cool. And the film, uh, cameras. But I can't wait to see what these, these little... These little incenses? Yes. Yeah. So how that, that was fun. It was a great sale. Yes! Um... One other thing I want to tell you we were going to do today, but not going to get it done today. So on the next video, two things for the next video, okay? In a couple days, we're going to do another video. And I talked about when we got monetized. I'm sorry, that's in front of your face. <laughs> I, <laughs> Look how big his hand is. <laughs> <laughs> when, when we got monetized, I, I talked about that we don't share our financials because they can be mis 
strewn lots of different ways but i said i'd let you know when we since we're monetized after the first month okay well they do it after each month so they do like a month at a time so we got monetized on the 14th of january so yesterday was the last day of the month today's february 1st so on and the next video later. yeah it doesn't update yet for it's not january updated yet for yesterday but instead of waiting for a whole nother month we're going to update in the next video and tell you what we made for january from the 14th to the 31st so that's the next video plus in the next video my uncle got some uh, golf stuff to do for jim. me to sell <laughs> uncle, uncle jim. jim and there's a hitting net and i think i'm gonna set it up in the driveway and I'm going to hit into it and hopefully not break my garage door. I don't know, Jim, but I think this is an awful cool toy. Steve! <laughs> Steve! <laughs> I'll teach Donna how to golf. So, but yeah, back in I here, there's, it was a, just for there's a hitting net in here, and here's like a. Your uh, husband mind. This is the where we'll tee off from, but I definitely want to set it up in the, in the driveway. Before it gets cold again. Yeah, well, before I sell it. I don't think Donna will let me keep it, so so look forward to that or or dread it, whatever. Yeah, or dread it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, you guys. Thank you, thank you. Like and subscribe. Leave us comments. All that kind of stuff. And if you haven't signed up to go to Plans to Profit, oh, Plans to Profit, come with us. Yeah, uh, I think that's it. But yeah, the next video we'll talk about yeah. uh, what we what what YouTube did pay us, and we'll see how that goes. And what they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's 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 better than i thought it would be yeah. honestly i i it surprised our friends yeah i i didn't so. expect much but we'll talk about that in the next video yeah i'm gonna go throw this together and it should be up later today on thursday yes all right donna you got anything else i don't thanks for watching everybody he's steve and she's donna <laughs> we'll see you on the next one bye